guys, today I am excited to show you a brand new book called How to Draw Adorable by Carly Ann Tipsy. And I got an advanced reader copy and I'm so excited to show you some of the drawings I loved. Now, I love that it starts with a warm up about using your shoulder. So if you're using your wrist, you're going to make these really tight little circles. But if you really draw circles from your shoulder, you can get big round ones. So let's try it out. I'm gonna start by not touching my pencil to the paper and then when I'm ready, I put it down and make a circle. Then I can go back over a little darker and perfect my circle. Now this page talks about the parts of the face and how to make the face look adorable. So for example, having a big round head and big eyes, a tiny little nose and a small mouth. So when we look at babies, they have these gigantic eyes and that's what makes them look adorable. Now, the eyes, when we're looking at them, it's about the pupils. So if you can see in these different pictures here, the big pupils and the big eyes is what looks the most adorable. So let's try this out. I'm gonna go ahead and sketch and round out my head to get the nice shape that I like, erasing and sketching as I go. And then when I have it how I like it, I'm going to go in and draw a very light guideline, just showing where my nose line is going to be. On a child, it's going to be pretty low on the face. On my guideline, I'm going to draw a little round nose and a tiny little mouth below it with a straight line and a curved line underneath. Now my eyes are gonna go on top and I'm kinda using my round um, warm up exercise to get those light circles down first and then I'll go back and perfect them. And now that I have my eyes, nose and mouth sketched out, I can go ahead and erase that guideline. Next, I'm gonna go back in and draw those big pupils we talked about. I'm gonna keep both of them towards the left side of the eye and leave a little bit of white on the right side. Then to make the eyes look shiny, I'm gonna add two little circles inside each of the pupils. These are called highlights. Next, I'll add some little eyebrows on top, arched to show happiness or surprise. And then I will add a hairline. So I'm gonna do a basic middle part curving down and then towards the edge of the head about where the ears are so that it tucks behind the ears here. You can make some cute round little ears and then simply erase the line of the head where the ears come out. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side, trying to keep it even and again erasing that line where it connects to the head. Now, I could leave the hair here, but I think I'm going to raise it up a little bit by drawing some curved lines above the hairline. And then I'll have to go back and erase that line where the top of the head was. Next, I'll add a neck with two curved lines close together and put a curved line at the bottom for the color of the shirt. I'll make some little shoulders that curve down and then I have to decide on a hairstyle. I could leave it like this or add to it, um, for example, with pigtails. I'm gonna bring these two lines down and together on each side. And then I'll add a couple curved lines at the bottom to make it where a ponytail would go. I'll add a little bit of hair at the bottom under the ponytail. I'm gonna bring the shoulders down a little more to the length of the hair as well as those arm lines. Next, I'm going to add a braided pattern. So making a curved line and bringing every curved line underneath out from the center and down to the edge. Again, on the other side, bringing a curved line down 
And then each line underneath that comes from the center and curves out to the opposite edge. Next, I'm going to curve the braids out just by making some curved edges on each of those little sections. And now I think I'm going to go add some bows. So erasing that ponytail, I'll add the center of the bow Go up and out and around and back in and then making a few little creases in there. I'm going to make a big cute bow on each of my pigtails. And again, erasing the ponytail on the other side. I'm going to draw a big bow at the bottom of this pigtail also. Next, I can go back in and add some details. So I'll add a strand of hair here and maybe some earrings and a collar on the shirt. Maybe I'll add um, some sleeves. I'm gonna pull these lines down just a little bit to make sure the sleeves and arms are the same length as the pigtails. And then finally, I will add a heart design to the shirt. Next, I'm going to outline all of my pencil lines with a Sharpie marker. This will ensure that my lines stay strong and then I will erase all of my extra pencil lines with my eraser. This step is called Trace and Erase. Now I'm ready to color and I'm going to be using these Colors of Kindness crayons by Crayola and also these Colors of the World crayons from Crayola. I'm going to be using the Colors of the World for the skin and hair and the Colors of Kindness for her accessories and clothes. I love that the Colors of the World crayons have so many different options for skin and hair color so I've chosen some for her skin and some for her hair. I've chosen two tones, a darker one for the edges of her face and shadow under her neck. And then I've also chosen a lighter tone for the center. This gives a rounded effect. I've also pulled out a pinkish color for her cheeks. I've pulled out a darker brown color that I'm using for her eyebrows and inside her mouth and I'm also using this for the darker value of her hair. Adding some dark outlines and in each of the patterns of the braids, I'm going to start with the dark and then fill in with the light. Next, I'm going to use my Colors of Kindness crayons. And these are lots of really fun colors. And the great part is they all have names. For example, this one is called Keep Moving Forward. And the color is called Inchworm. Next, I'll use Be Sweet to Each Other. And the color is called Cotton Candy. This crayon is called Go With The Flow, and the color is called Salmon. Mm -hmm. 
This color is called Have a Scoop of Fun and the color is Pink Sherbet. This next crayon is called Nurture Nature and the color is called Orchid. And this color is called Heart to Heart. The color is called Marvelous. And finally, this one is called Best Buddies, and the color is called Wisteria. Now I've shown you how to draw an adorable girl using the book, How to Draw Adorable, and using Crayola's Colors of Kindness crayons and Colors of the World's crayons. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.